I want to talk about the rise and fall of the art gallery. First, I need to go back a few hundred years because I'm an art history nerd. In Europe in the 1800s, a middle class had slowly been developed since the Renaissance, and there were becoming a lot more ways for artists to find buyers, simply because there was more buyers. With the increased commerce came dealers, people that would connect the artist to the patron, and of course take a percentage of the proceeds. These dealers sometimes had physical spaces, galleries, and were the tastemakers of their time. They were the Instagram before color photography. Many of these dealers would tirelessly support and promote the artists that they deemed promising, and they were really essential to connecting the buyers to the artists. Before I get into what happened next, I want you to know about a valuable resource that I've developed that will show you 10 venues where you can sell your art in the off chance that you don't have a dealer or a patron. There is a link for you to go get this and it's gonna help you a lot if you wanna make money from your art, so be sure to grab that. So we have the dealer and we have the artist and we have the patrons and this involved into the gallery system that we now know. Today's gallery will have a physical space, a team devoted to sales and curation, a marketing arm, relationships with collectors, and what's called, I love this, a stable of artists that they represent. The standard markup for galleries is 50%, which I honestly don't think is bad for what they offer. But here is the problem. Galleries have all the same challenges that individuals have selling their art. Supply and demand is always a driving force behind any commodity, and there is far more supply of art than demand. Meanwhile, art is a very uncertain and unknown commodity, and nearly all of it is a risky venture, both for the artist and the dealer. It is a luxury item, which means it's the first thing to falter in any kind of difficult economy. Meanwhile, another problem, there are far more artists than there are dealers or galleries. For an artist these days, getting attached to a commercially viable, well-respected art gallery feels about as rare as getting nominated for an Oscar in Hollywood. My experience in the fine art world is that offering an art object for sale with a published price on your website is considered the ultimate and of low class and will probably disqualify you from having a serious artistic career. There seems to be a firmly held belief that artists shouldn't have to deal with money, that money dirties the pure artistic process and the money transactions should be handled by the dealer while the artist works blissfully in their ivory tower. Now I'm not sure why I decided to um, say that in an accent, but it seemed to feel right. Anyway, nice work if you can get it. But what's an artist to do? When I finished grad school more than 10 years ago, the options were support yourself with an unrelated job if you needed money, and you could also consider being a college professor, or you could try to get grants and loans to get by. The idea was to make your art good and notable so that in enough time, like the wallflower at the party, the prom king will notice you and take you out for a dance. This actually works for some people. I know some very success I know some very successful artists in this arena. However, there are far more people that this doesn't work for. So for a lot of early and mid-career artists, the most financially wise decision is to take the bull by the horns and use the incredible broadcasting methods available to us, AKA the interwebs, and find your own market. I wanna hear your thoughts about this. Please put them below. If you know somebody who is trying to make a go at being a creative business owner, send them my way. I would love to connect with them. Go to josielewis.com slash artbiz for that free resource with the 10 venues to sell your art and I will be in touch.